South Side Lung. I got the trip, I got the trip. South Side Lung. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, what's up? What's poppin' this week? I'm Savion for those who don't know. So for today's video, it's going to be the video that has been asked for since the beginning of time, since before the YouTube channel, before the Instagram, before the Twitter, before social media as a whole for Savion Gabrielle, my curly hair routine. You guys have been asking about this forever. So I'm like, let me just make it for the people, man. They want to see it. Let me make it for the people, man. I got y'all. So I'm not about to hold y'all. I'm just going to get right into the video. All the products that I use will be down in the description box below. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments. I love to read them and answer them for y'all. <laughs> So now I'm at the shower, I'm done, hair's washed, hair conditioned. So after I get out the shower, I wrap my hair in a t-shirt because when I wrap my hair in a towel, it gets super duper frizzy. So I wait till it's a little bit dry. I don't wanna work with completely wet hair, but I don't want it to be all the way dried up. So that's what we have right now. 
with no product in it at all. So first thing I do, I'm just gonna split it down the middle. So the products I'm gonna use are Cantu Coconut Curling Cream and the Green Eco Styling Gel. You can find both of these literally anywhere like Walmart, Target, Walgreens, like anywhere they have a hair products, you can probably find these. We're just gonna start with a little bit, like that much, and work with one side at a time. So I start at the bottom and work my way up. So one thing people ask when I do my hair is, why don't I use a vent brush or like a, you know, like one of those comb through brushes. For me, when I use those type of brushes, my curls are as tight as I want them to be. And I notice that my hair is a lot more frizzier also when I go through with a vent brush instead of just using my hands. So I feel like the best thing for me is to just use my hands. But yeah, just run it through. It should be pretty easy to run through since your hair is all conditioned. No tangles. Cause you basically already detangled it in the shower when you were conditioning. So yeah, make sure you get the ends. And when I do it, the t-shirt I use to wrap my hair in, I wipe my hands on it, like, a lot. So if you see me do that, that's what I'm doing. Because I don't like, because when I go through, it's hair, like, stuck in between my fingers and stuff, and I don't like all that. So I'm just going to get a little bit more. I'm going to get a little bit more. Just go over it. Make sure I get that bottom part. Next, I'm gonna get the Eco Silent Gel and put that all inside of this part of my head. Get the Eco Silent Gel and do the exact same thing I just did with the Coconut Curling Cream. Just do that all the way around. This part of my hair is always like frizzy and like standing up and stuff. So I'm trying to make sure I focus on that. Okay, so that side is basically done. So now we're gonna let that side air dry some. And while I'm letting that side air dry, I'm gonna work on this side. So if y'all know me and follow me on Instagram, do you know that I made a mistake and cut this piece of my hair off? I'm trying to cut a hair tie out. So if you see it sticking up, that's what it is. So now that I have it on both sides, I go through one last time, like down the middle and like really focusing on the front because I feel like those are the parts that I don't hit when I run the product through my hair. So I'm just gonna go along the middle in the back, because especially the back because it's like, you don't know what you're doing in the back. So make sure it's all the way saturated. And then I do the exact same thing with the Eco Styling Gels. I get all the product inside of my hair I get a scarf it's my grandma's scarf y'all my favorite scarf that I have and then I just go all the way back I put a scarf at the front of my hair because I don't like how frizzy my hair gets at the front and I don't like how big it looks in the front if I don't put the scarf on it so yeah I'm just going to leave it alone now if I were to style my hair I would do it now after I've done putting the product in like for example, if I was putting my two pigtails in the front like I usually do in like my other videos, I would do that now. But since I just wanna show y'all my curly hair routine, I'm just gonna leave it alone until it dries and then I'll show y'all 
I will show y'all when it's done. Okay, so my hair is about, I would say, 60% dry. But with this, I would definitely walk out the house with this because I don't like my hair to be flat. So I need it to be a little big before I walk out unless I'm in an absolute rush and I just have to go in and dry on the way. But I would definitely go out with this. So now I'm just about to take my scarf off. Get the hair in order. And that's it. So I'm just gonna like lay my edges real quick and that's really all I do. Alright baby, so that concludes today's video. This is the walk out the house product. It obviously will get bigger when it dries up some more, but this is like a good start off that I could I could work with for the day for it to get bigger. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything I put in my hair, about the routine itself, any products, please drop them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to help. If you want any kind of like other tutorials, like hair-wise, skin-wise, please just drop them down below. I got y'all. I'll let y'all know. If I can help, I most definitely will. Make sure y'all follow me on social media. It will be in the description box below. I love y'all so, so much, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Ooh, I'm looking for a baby I can slide on Girl, you know it's you, I got my eyes on We be going good to the morning light Cause at night, I don't even want the lights on Girl, you look like something I might buy